How's it going? Made up a vacuum attachment for the radial flow filter to clean out the solids from the bottom of our IBC fish tank. Uh, there's a bit of a problem you get with the IBC fish tanks being square. You don't get the water circulation that you do in a round tank, so you tend to have deposits settle out in the corners of the tank. Um, we don't get it that bad during summer, but during winter, because they go off their feed a bit, uh, we don't always get to scoop all the uneaten feed out and it does drop and settle to the bottom. So I like to get it out. You can get into a situation if you let enough build up that it'll um, degrade and release sulfur and that's toxic to your fish and you don't want that. So it is a good idea to try and clean it out of your system. I have tried to get it out with the little nets, the fine mesh nets, and all you do is break it up and it becomes a finer solid and that does take it out of the system but I thought I'd just make up one of these little vacuum ones and yeah remove it that way. I've used it a couple of times and it's pretty successful there's not a lot of solids in there today but I now I've used it and I know it works fairly well I thought I'd just show you how it works you can also make airlift vacuums as well where you have a um and a um uh, what would you call it uh, a port I suppose in the bottom of a wand with air running from your compressor directly down the bottom the air, like an airlift pump basically, and the air um, flows up through the tube and sucks the solids out. I thought that was a little bit more complex than what I wanted to do. I've already got uh, water pressure, I've already got an outlet to collect the solids being the filter, so I figured I might as well use water pressure and it's less mucking around with pipe work. It is a very basic and very easy build. A lot of the parts that I used in the wand I actually had laying around. But I rang up our local big box store, um, you Australians know which one it is, there's only two of them, this one starts with B, and I priced out all the parts and it would have cost me $15 if I had to buy all the parts. So I'll give you a look at it and I'll explain basically what it is, I suppose. So there's a the little vacuum, it was a pretty easy build. What we have here to begin with is we have an inch and a half or 40 millimeter reducer that goes from an inch and a half or 40 mils down to a 25mm or 1 inch PVC pit fitting. From there I have a 1 inch push-in fitting with a um, 1 inch thread on the end which just threads straight into this little barb fitting that goes into this 1 inch pipe or 25mm pipe. So that's just as easy as screwing that in there and pushing that on there and that's what actually plugs in to the top of the slow fitting or the solids out uh, lifting outlet in the fish tank and it takes the waste away to the radial flow or your swirl filter or whatever. Just a length of one inch flexible pipe so you can move it around. Uh, I've made this long enough so I can get to all the different corners and all around the fish tank so there's no solids I can't hunt down. Down on the other end here we've just got the barb fitting and it goes into a 20 mil or a three quarter inch adapter just a push-in adapter that takes the pipe. On the other end of the pipe I've just got a bit of a bevel cut into it just so it won't sit flat on the bottom of the floor. I have thought that if the solids do become too thick and too heavy and stuck to the bottom a little bit of a brush arrangement could be put onto the end of this but it's not something I've had to worry about at the moment. And that yeah just screws straight into there. So these fish don't like being exposed to a lot of light so I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible. I'll give you a look at a bit, a bit of a quick look at the tank beforehand. There aren't a lot of solids in here, but there's enough in there for you to see, you know, how this works and get a bit of an idea. So I'll just get all this ready and open up the tank. These fish really don't like the lid being up too much, so I'm going to try and do this as fast as possible. The solids are down there in the corner. There's not a lot in here. I have been cleaning it out, but we don't, aren't getting a great deal. That's because I've pretty much all cut their food right back, so not a lot of it goes to waste. There is a bit of it floating around the tank. I can't see any at the moment, but they didn't eat all this morning's allotment. They're getting about a tablespoon worth of food in the morning and probably about the same in the afternoon. If they eat it all in the afternoon, they tend to eat better in the afternoon. I will give them another. So the camera work might get a bit jerky because I'm doing this by myself. Over here, that's the solids lifting outlet connection I will be hooking the pipe onto. The idea behind this is the solids are gathered down the bottom of that solids lifting outlet. They're taken up and then through that pipe there and over into the radial flow filter just there and that traps all the solids. Unfortunately, like I said before, being a square tank you don't get the solids moving around the tank and go 
and they don't get a chance to be sucked up by that um, lifting outlet so that's why this little vacuum comes in handy so I'm just going to try and position this camera so I won't fall into the fish tank or over and I'll connect the pipe work and show you how it works Radio. so to begin with what I have to do is pull out this solids lifting outlet it's as easy as doing that and connect the wand so it's just a matter of pushing that onto there and away we go now as you can see the fish have actually moved some of these solids around they're now right down here hang on there's a there's a nice little heap down here i'll try and set the camera up to give you a decent look finding it a bit hard to do this all by myself but this will give you a bit of an idea the solids just get sucked up there we go there's a you get to see a few you get to see a bit of the idea but anyway we'll, we'll persevere and see how we go well that wasn't too successful was it but I do have some footage of uh, when we tried it the first time and yeah have a look at that and see what you think right yeah we're going to try and do this as quick as we can because it's going to freak the fish out the water levels raised up and can you see the cold solids down the back corner there babe Yep, I'll just take off my little elbow here, stick on my adapter, and hopefully what we'll see is this here, there we go, sucking up some of these solids. So these solids are going directly into solids lift uh, the I'm sorry the radial flow filter that's doing quite a handy little job so I think it may take a little bit longer than I thought though maybe if I had a smaller hole on it oh, it's doing all right there Slower process than I thought, but still, it's doing the job. I think what would be better if I could have brushed the ground first in there. Ground. If I could have brushed the base. Maybe that's something to do on an adaption. Put a bit of a brush on it. I think that's done a pretty good job. I'm pretty pleased with that. So hopefully you get the idea from that other bit of vision. I just closed this up. I've freaked the fish out enough, I think, today. So the solids come up as they would normally through the slow and get taken down through here and into the radial flow filter or swirl filter or however you've got it connected. From there, it can either just sit in there and then be drawn off whenever you clean out your filter um, or you can clean it out immediately if it's a little bit rancid. So it's a pretty basic and a pretty easy design and hopefully it comes in handy to someone out there so like i said before it doesn't doesn't cost much to make it's a pretty easy build uh, you just need a saw to cut the pipe and a screwdriver to tighten the screws it's, it's as easy as that no glue involved all those parts you can pull off and use in other bits and pieces around your system it was a bit hard to do it today without a camera woman so hopefully that other vision sort of showed exactly how well this thing works there are other systems you can use. You can make airlift vacuums as well. I've seen them online, and in fact, I'll put a link to a one that someone sent me a link to in another clip in the description below, and you can suss that out. Um, I did think about making an airlift vacuum. I just thought this was a lot easier. I'm taking, I'm using what I've got here already. I don't have to make up another special tool with extra air fittings, extra hose line, and all the rest of it. Just very straightforward, very basic. Plug it in, let it go through the filter, and away you go. So I suppose that's pretty much all it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, just drop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Other than that, have fun with the fish, and I'll catch you later. See ya.